What is going on guys, Mr. Barber coming back to yet another video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys the full story on my barber journey. So I already have um, a video on like how I started to cut hair but it wasn't too long and I know you guys wanted uh, a longer like more in-depth explanation so that's we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video I know I've been lacking on the tutorial videos but that's because we were recently in lockdown but the shops opened up yesterday so stay tuned for that you know hit that subscribe button because I got some tutorials coming out soon and also uh, I got some big news coming out um, it's not for sure yet that's why I can't tell you guys but you know we got some changes coming so hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop but yeah without further ado let's hop straight into the video all right so if you guys see me looking over here to my left it's because um i have my notes because pretty uh, we're gonna go pretty in detail in this story so let's take it all the way back to summer 16 back to 2016 and i was just i was just chilling at home and then my boy josh was like yo you want to chill so yeah sure i'll come over later so i go over to his house and then there was a barber that just finished up cutting him and his little brother's hair so um you know it was right it was in the bathroom so i go i check it out i said what's up to the barber and it was super sick like he had a light he had this whole setup and then um i saw josh pay him 50 dollars because he cut him and his little brother's hair so i was thinking to me i was i was a 15 year old broke little kid and i was like damn 50 dollars just for doing that that's pretty cool so you know it just it stuck to the in the back of my head didn't think anything of it went home whatever a few months later i was at my boy trey's house and you know we're just chilling and then he had to go he had to go somewhere and then he was like yo i need a lineup do you think you could do it and i was like yeah actually my dad has a pair of trimmers at home because my dad shaves his head bald um so i went home all the way home grabbed that came back and we set up in his bathroom i did his lineup I remember taking like we, we had a bunch of pictures just me cutting his hair he was taking pictures and all that because it was super cool and then that haircut took me about probably an hour honestly it took me like 45 minutes and just that whole haircut we were talking about like uh, me starting to cut hair my barber name we we're just thinking of names and then we came up with ml cuts so when i got home i made myself an instagram page called ml cuts i remember i made that page and I posted that picture of the lineup. You know, I just had that for about a month or two because I was planning on becoming a barber, but I didn't have money to buy clippers. So I was waiting for Christmas to come up so I could get myself a pair of clippers. My plan was to get myself a pair of clippers for Christmas and use my dad's trimmers to do the outline. So, you know, we waited for Christmas to come around, but between me cutting Trey's hair and Christmas, I had my boy Corn on my hockey team who had clippers at his house. So he was down to let me cut his hair. He had a real simple haircut. It was about, I think it was a two on the sides. It was an undercut with like curly top. He, we just trimmed that. But he said he had clippers. I, I go to his house and he had wall peanuts. So I show up to his house and all he had was wall peanuts. So if you guys don't know what it is, it's like a mini trimmer and he had that with like some guards on it so i cut his hair with that number two outlined him trim the top took a picture um if you i'll put a picture of that up too you guys can see it looks like i barely did anything i did cut a little bit but not too much so after that he gave me five dollars for that haircut and i was like damn so i was like okay five dollars my price i'm, I'm gonna start charging five dollars funny story i kept that five dollars for the longest time probably for about a year or two just because it was the first money i made um and i wanted to keep it so i left it in my wallet like tucked away in one of the pockets in my wallet and i had i think who was it my boy george actually wanted to go to tim's and he didn't have cash on him so he he went into my wallet took my five dollars bought himself tim's and then he transferred me the rest and i was like yo bro that was a special five dollars what are you doing he's like oh my bad i didn't even know so that happened i was pretty mad but whatever it's not the end of the world so yeah christmas comes up i get myself a pair of clippers you know i'm posting on my stories guys who wants a haircut come see me blah 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 i had a few guys that wanted haircuts i did their hair butchered it we're not good haircuts but you know it was a start so we did that uh yeah i started giving five dollar haircuts uh maybe about two one to three haircuts every week you know i was doing that in my bathroom i lived in a small apartment and i did that in my small bathroom 
So then the bathroom got kind of too small. So then we went on to my balcony. You guys will see some some pictures of that. But don't judge the haircuts. The haircuts were so bad. But you guys can see I'm on a balcony. So I'm on the balcony doing that. And then, you know, I'm just doing guys in my class. Five guys a week, cutting people in my class and some close friends. So then we end up moving to this house. And I was stoked because I had my bedroom in the basement and then next to my room there's like this little like area so I was like okay I'm gonna make myself um, a barbershop right there so I I made a barbershop my dad put like some shelves and then I had a mirror I had my chair and then I had um, a couch and then a TV so it was sick super cool chilling area but um, you know I kept cutting but I had it got to the point where I was cutting my friends friends like guys I wasn't like boys with and it just got kind of weird you know having people come through your whole house and then come all the way down and I couldn't cut I couldn't cut too early in the morning I couldn't cut too early too late at night because they would just have to walk through my whole house um, you know how some basements like you could walk outside through that no I didn't have that you had to go through my whole house to get down to the shop so that was kind of kind of annoying so then I started thinking about working in the shop I started working in this one shop, but I feel like I wasn't good enough, so I got really intimidated when I was there. And I did maybe about like four or five weeks. I would work uh, one day a week on the weekend, and then just stopped that. Came back home, got better, you know, kept cutting people. And then after that, I went to another shop at like the mall, and I hated it. I did one day and then never went back. So I came back here, kept grinding, and then yeah, after that, you know, I had a consistent, consistent amount of people. I was on my way home from wherever, and I saw there was a barbershop opening up, and it, it was called Le Papillon. And that's my barber's last name, Papillon. His name's Papi, you guys have probably seen him in one of my videos. And I'm like, damn, did you open up a shop? So I turn in, his car's parked out in front, and I go inside, I say, what's up? He shows me the place, and then I tell him, like, listen, I'm thinking of um, stopping school to become a barber. He's like, oh, cool, like, you can have this chair. So I started working there, uh, I think it was the next week. And yeah, I've been working there ever since. It's been about two years now and I love it. So um, yeah, that's 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 the whole story. It's been about five years since I started cutting hair. Been a long time. And if I could go back in time and like modify something, I would try to start working in a shop. The, uh, the earlier, the better, because you get a lot better faster. So. The progress that I made in a year, I could have maybe made in three to five months. Um, the reason for that is because you have barbers like criticizing you and you're always looking at other barbers, so you're always bettering yourself. And when you're at home, you know, if you don't know how to do something or whatever, you'll he'll just leave like that. It's no big deal. So um, yeah, and if you're at the barber, guy walks out, everyone's looking at your haircut. So you know, you, you force yourself to do better. So yeah, if I could go back in time, I'd definitely start working at a shop. A little earlier but um, yeah that's pretty much it for the story you know that's how I started and you know that it's just the beginning if you would have told me five years ago you're gonna start cutting hair you're gonna make a YouTube channel and all that i have been like damn that's sick so let's run up this YouTube channel you know let's 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 blow it up I want to blow it up I'm trying to get 10k subs by the end of this year so It'll happen you guys, it'll, get, it'll happen. So you know, just hit that subscribe button, leave a comment for the algorithm. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the story. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna have some tutorials coming out. I have some videos coming out. So the grind ain't gonna stop. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.